Hey, what's up, guys? Back in another Dawn of Destiny series, duel, episode, part. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I already botched this intro because I was going to say something and then I didn't say what I was going to say. So fuck it. We're dueling Espo, Roba, Loomis, and Umbra. Umbra? I'm just a mess this part. And Merrick, of course, the big, bad, evil dude. So let's go. Good. Oh, this is who Joey gets uh, Jinzo from. I remember. And his psychic powers are just his little siblings hiding around town with fucking binoculars checking out Joey's deck and creeping and totally cheating and totally gets uh, should get kicked out of the Duelist, Duel Battle City tournament, but I don't think he does. Uh, I don't remember. I know Joey wins because Heart of the Cards and Plot. His head just seems big because of the way his hair is. But maybe it's not. I don't know. Didn't really get a good first hand. Who is that? I wish it showed you who the fuck they summoned. Is that Giant Soldier of Stone? Because if it's Giant Soldier of Stone, I have to attack this turn. I cannot let yep. I cannot let that go into defense mode. This is a warrior. You are also a warrior. So you're getting summoned. I can't let that go into defense mode because it'll be way too long before I can get a uh 2000 to, or 2100 attack monster so boom got rid of that did a little bit of life point damage all is good in the hood my friends subscribers viewers subscribe da -dum -bam -ba -dum -dum -dum. because i'll make random noises when i duel and this is a very uneventful duel uh let's summon let's see if i can take down whatever that defensive position monster is and if not I have my man-eater bug as a backup. This might be a little ballsy. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. I'll take 400 bit of damage. You didn't foresee that. We'll end the turn. The next turn I'll get rid of him. Although now it kind of sucks because he probably has a bunch of 2,000 point monsters to place. If he places Jinzo, well that would just be funny. Let's actually do Penguin Soldier. And I can return. They don't have to be face up for Penguin Soldier, correct? You can return two monster cards from the field to the owner's hand. Okay. Don't have to be face up, so let's do that. Oh, I might be able to start doing stuff. <clears throat> ne I don't mean to. Next turn, I might be able to take out stuff with Slate Warrior and Yami. So it might not matter. Okay. Let's do that. We're gonna flip. We're gonna return the two face down cards with Penguin Soldier. And then I'm gonna summon Slate Warrior, destroy that with Yami. <clears throat> and then. Yeah, oh, for a second I like freaked out and I was gonna be like, can I not do that? But I can totally do that. Because I am the master of the duel. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Most of the time, actually. Okay, so he should have gotten a power up at 2100, which means you can take out this guy, and then I can track directly with the rest of my cards and probably win. Excuse me? Spell. Ah. <sighs> Alright, fair enough. Well played. I totally walked into that. Woo! That was rough. What a trap card it is. Negate attack! That hurts. <laughs> I still can't believe that that just happened. I'm still in a good spot here. We're gonna have to play Maneater Bug now. And also going to have to hope that that other face down monster doesn't also have 2,000 defense. Oh, okay, good, it doesn't. We're good. We're still in good shape. We might we've made some mistakes, but that's okay because everyone makes mistakes. Mostly me when I play Yu-Gi-Oh, which you'd think I wouldn't anymore because I played so much. I got the I've got this Dawn of Destiny series. I have the Millennium Duels series, and then I have my Expert Mode Millennium Duels. I actually have some uh, 
five D's uh, episodes as well, but those are just multiplayer, and I think all of them are me getting wrecked. So, boom. All right, this is it. This determines the duel. This is gonna be all day? No, it's not. This ends here. Sweet. Get out of here. Okay, that went a little bit longer than it should have, but that's okay. I mean, really, I wouldn't have been able to do anything without Man Eater Bug anyway, so I only went on like another turn. And I lost an extra 100 life points. <sighs> that's not that bad. Losing contact with galactic streams. I thought he was supposed to be psychic. Isn't that like a, not a galact, intergalactic thing? Isn't that like a spiritual thing? Well, your brothers all are dead. Congratulations, you have failed your family. And now, speaking of brothers, I have to go take on two brothers. I think they're brothers. Maybe they're just two fatties with cloaks. The tag team duel is here to unleash double the destruction. Where's my tag team partner? For the sake of fairness, shouldn't I get a partner? All right, we're gonna play Royal Decree. And then hopefully I get to use Negate Attack before I use my own Royal Decree. And then it asks me every turn, do you want to use Negate Attack? But I can't yet. So let's see what battle, or fucking, what is that? Vorse Ax, Axer? It's not Vorse Raider. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. Don't know what that is. Ooh, look at all of those goody trap cards that I'm going to make irrelevant. Boop! I royally decree it. They both were like, oh, uh, uh. oh shit, I don't know how I'm gonna make a thumbnail for them. They're so big. Ha. Ha. That was a sex thing, that was what I was laughing about there in case you didn't get it. Oh no, a trap! Whoops. Anyway, got a text. Totally distracted. I'm gonna cut that down. <laughs> I was reading said text. Negate attack. Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. I have Royal Decree. Totally forgot about that. Ha! Damn it! What is up with everyone having high defense monsters? That's fine. I don't remember if I summoned a monster this turn. I'm totally spacing out. Yep, totally did. So next turn, now we use Penguin Soldier to turn that and whatever it summons this turn back to your hand. Well, no, two turns from now, actually. Because that's how things work. As long as, well, uh, no, 1800, well, actually, hold up. If I summon this and then equipped it, nope, he's a fiend monster, isn't he? Not spellcaster, which means I cannot play that. Damn it! I'm uh, way too giddy about that. All right, let's at least destroy whatever the other monster is really quick. Negate attack. Oh no! So I can probably destroy it if he's activating a negate attack. Hopefully. Oh, you get your fucking trap card back, which you can't use anyway, so suck it! Oh, good thing you got Jar of Greed back, or else who knows what would have happened. Uh, do -do 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 checking text messages in the middle of a duel. Ah. Uh, Rude AF, but that's okay. What was I doing? Hang on. Totally professional. I'm a professional YouTuber. Not <laughs> at all, I wish. I just make Yu Gi Oh videos occasionally. I was checking text messages and stuff while that was going on. Okay, so we're gonna end this turn, and the next turn I'll send both of his monsters back to his hand. And we'll call that good for this duel, because I can probably win that turn, right? Nope, because that's going to prevent me from doing stuff. Maybe. I might have enough if I get a deep high... Blah, blah, blah. I fucking... It's not decent enough, but that's okay. Flip you. And we'll send one of these two. This is for sure going back to hand. And this is for sure going back to hand. Don't know what that other one was. Let's summon you... And then hope we can end the duel here. This is, I got five monsters out. If this goes through... I almost panicked again, but it still can't activate trap cards. They're still not doing anything for you. Boom. Alright, I think we can win this. This turn. Pretty sure, yeah. I'm not good at math. 
or on the spot math, but I think that is the end of this duel. Get fucked. Merrick's gonna be pretty hard though, because these guys were both pretty easy. I just cruised through both of them, losing only like 600 life points. So I don't know. Merrick, maybe Merrick's easy, but then again, I will have like a 3,000 life point advantage to him. But if he's out here summoning Ra and shit and using all of his fucking bullshit effects, then it doesn't matter. This is impossible. How could the Dream Team lose? I don't really know if you're the Dream Team, if anyone has ever called you the Dream Team. Ever. They were probably wrong and lying to you. Is Mystic Space Typhoon his chosen car? Lose to a peon like you. Your token card is Mystic Space Typhoon, not Wing Dragon of Ra. Go fuck yourself, I'm gonna win this duel. Are you kidding me? Not even using Wing Dragon of Ra? <sighs> Although I don't remember him having that, like, fucking headpiece in all that jewelry on in the show. Be totally wrong though, but what is that? Vorse Raider? It looks like Vorse Raider. But luckily, I have another 1900 point monster that I'm not gonna summon this turn because that trap card looks like it's going to be something bad. Hmm. So, what should I do here? Let's just play it safe and assume that's Trap Hole for now. This is actually a bad decision because if he summons a monster, he can do a direct attack. But the AI is not that aggressive, so maybe not. Point proven. Didn't attack me. Okay. So now I have a decent setup here. Now let's summon Slate Warrior. Do I attack Vorse Raider or not is the question. Maybe I wait for it to go to defense position as he freaks out about it. Complete turn. Got another text message. Apparently I'm only popular when I'm recording videos. Because I don't get any text messages during the day normally. Boom, just desserts. God damn it. That's oof. That is a steep thousand to lose. This early in the duel. Although I still have a 2,400 lead on him. So not particularly worried. We're getting there though. We're getting chilled in the boots. Alright, I think I'm just going to attack. Well, let's get rid of... Let's set one more monster. I'm playing too cautiously. I don't know. I never play this cautiously. Let's get rid of Vorse Raider. And we'll test out if that's a trap card that's going to fuck me. Or not. Boom. I like that the frame rate, like, fucking kills itself if it's got that many. Alright, proceed to main phase two. Let's flip you. Let's get ready to start doing some damage. Okay, I can't flip that yet. That might have been a good decision. I don't know, there was no other way I was getting rid of Vorse Raider, and Vorse Raider could have killed any of my other monsters. Card Destruction works fine for me. I have shitty cards. You had Man Eater Bug, so you lost that. Boom, boom. I didn't really gain anything from that, actually. He got another Vorse Raider, though. That sucks. And Man Eater Bug was already set. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna take some damage here. Oh no, he's not going to attack because he's the AI. We can't send Man Eater Bug back to the hand if I use Penguin Soldier. But I'm totally going to try. Well, to send his other two back anyway. What is that? Magic Thorn. What does this do? When your opponent's cards are discarded from his or her hand to the graveyard. Okay. What a cool effect. Are you fiend? No. None of you are fiend. End my turn. Huh. What should I do here? Mystic Space type thing? That's his token card, man. Got rid of my negate attack. How could you? Alright, yep. Now's the time to get rid of Horse Raider because he's starting to attack with it. There goes my whatever. I know I can just summon Horse Raider again next turn, but it's really not something I want to deal with right now. What did he just flip summon? Harpy's Feather Duster. Cool. Not really what I want to use right now. When this card inflicts damage to your opponent, so one card must be randomly discarded. That's not going to do any damage to me, though. 
See, here's the thing. Okay, let's just set another monster. Huh. I don't want him to be gaining too many life points, so let's get rid of that. I realize there's better uses of that. But. We're just gonna play it safe. I'm playing it. This is not my usual playstyle. Alright. So that other monster cannot destroy my one thing. So Horse Raider is assumed to be the first attacker. Probably. Switch that to defense position. Horse Raider attacks. Of course he doesn't attack Penguin Soldier because he's AI and he knows better. Then I have those other two face down ones. Ooh, he's cool. Okay, so now I got something that can take on Force Raider. Here we go. Let's flip you. Boom. Even though I'm still gonna set or get rid of Voice Force Raider this turn anyway. Who are you? No. Oh, I said no. Whatever. What's happening here? Did I just fuck up that effect? Whatever, I can kill Horse Raider. It's better late than never. Yeah. Put you. Okay. I'm mad that all that transpired. Alright, we'll take this out. Because he doesn't have any magic or trap cards. This is a vastly different Merrick than the one I, du had to I dueled in Millennium Duels. He didn't have shit. I can take you out. With my penguin soldier, that's funny. First time penguin soldier's ever killed anything in his life. Complete turn. I mean, that was an okay turn, I guess. Uh, I sent the wrong card back to his hand. Doesn't matter, though, because he can summon it again immediately. It doesn't look like he's going to, though. I still don't know what its effect was, though. <coughs> Cosmo Queen. Next turn. I'm going to summon this this turn. And then next turn I'll summon it, because I want to keep this guy out in the field. Alright, we'll have you attack Maneater Bug. It's the only reason I justify that, is because Penguin Soldier can still kill something this turn. You will take out this, which I'm assuming is something that you can destroy. Yup. I haven't blinked this whole video. <laughs> Fun fact, my name. I'll take you out. Awesome. Now I'll sacrifice those two for Cosmo Queen next turn, because why... There's no reason for me to still have Penguin Soldier out on the field. Penguin Soldier's time is done. His effect's been done. I also realize a cute thing I could do with Penguin Soldier is each time just return one monster to the field and then return Penguin Soldier so I could continuously use his effect. But that's lame. Okay, and then let's get rid of this thing. Because Cosmo Queen's combined attack still higher than both of their, or the, higher than their combined attack. I said that wrong. Let's attack you. Oops. Sorry. By destroying his magic and trap cards, I actually kind of ruined his strategy by having that monster out on the field. But to be fair, it only has a thousand attacks, so really, what was it going to do anyway? Other than just die to me. Time has come, Merrick. I have Cosmo Queen out in the field. There's really nothing you can do except play Regeki. Fuck, I jinxed it. I don't have any wood nearby me, so now I just have to win very quickly. Hopefully. Okay. It doesn't look like he's got anything that can counter this, though. So let's attack with this. Kill this. Boom. And then we'll end the duel with one attack from Cosmo Queen. Coming in the clutch. Ah, card destruction? No! Don't destroy my hand! How could you? You lost, Merrick. Sucks. Cause you called me a peon. You're the first tower in a while that I beat without a loss. The magic of my millennium- It doesn't even say what millennium item. You have the millennium rod. In case you forgot what it was called. You totally lost cause the millennium rod sucks for you. And I want... Give me Slifer. Let's try out some Slifer action. Still nothing useful. Fuck. Alright, moving along. Oh, Yami Merrick, that's why he sucked. Okay, next duel, or next episode, we got Ishizu, Odeon, Yami Merrick.
evil Merrick, as some would call him. Because no one actually says Yami Yugi, they say the Pharaoh, or Atem. So I guess this guy is just evil Merrick. So tune in next time as I duel these guys. Thanks for watching, you guys. Leave feedback in the comments, or just chat with me in the comments, because I'm always in the comments checking stuff out. I'll read every one of them. Thanks for watching again. Make sure to share, subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Twitch, all that good stuff in the description down below there and the end of video goodness. Be sure to have a wonderful day, everyone, and I will see you around. Oh, 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 oh,